So you might be in a little bit of a weird situation where you're getting this error on your particular iPhone, which says that there's no location. Now, this can happen for a lot of different reasons. The number one reason why this may end up happening, and I just want to give you an example of what this pop-up could look like, it really is such a basic way to fix it. The main issue, the main problem that you're going to get into, and the reason why this is happening, even in Find My iPhone or whatever the case is, is because usually, one, your iPhone has not been connected to data in a long period of time, or two, your particular device doesn't have your location services on as of this moment. So what you can try doing, number one, is make your way over to your iPhone settings. So if it's your iPhone that's causing the no location found, what you can do is just make your way over to your iPhone settings, scroll down until you see your privacy or privacy and security, tap into here, and right here where it says location services, what you're going to want to do is tap into here and make sure this is enabled. As long as this is enabled, that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. And this in and of itself is probably going to end up fixing the problem for a vast majority of people. So if you do that, again, that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. Now, if for some reason it's like other people's iPhones that's basically giving you this like no location found error. So if it shows something like this and it's just saying like no location found just like this. Now, a reason why this may end up happening is because that particular iPhone just doesn't have their location on. So maybe they're either not sharing their location with you anymore, they turn it off, or maybe there's some location service issue going on with their iPhone, and that can be another thing that can happen too. You can also try updating your iPhone. Sometimes that can end up fixing the problem too for some people. So make your way over to your iPhone settings, tap into your general settings here, tap into software update, and try seeing if there's an update available for your iPhone. And if there is, you may just want to go and try updating it, and that can be another way to fix the problem as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.